decided to come down to East Edgar today to do my first video here. I've been a few times, but I've never done a video here, so hopefully you can get a good day. This is the fishery. Stunning morning, as you know, we've had really bad winds over the last three or four days, so I'm kind of hoping these fish have been undisturbed for a while and we can have a good session today. So this fishery is down the coast for me um, in Cricket. Bit of a drive. But you see it's a lovely fishery and there seems to be some service action already here. Yeah, there's a hatch on it seems. The fish seem to be sipping away here. But what I'm going to do is I've got my floating line set up and I've got two apps on. gonna see there you go straight in front of me then I could literally put a CDC on here but I'm just gonna I'm gonna fish her up and not spook these fish I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna cast down and try and make as little disturbance as I can yeah there's a lot of fish there guys so anyway, this is the setup. Red apps on the point. And I've got bright pink apps on the dropper. And if I can get this tangle up. You can see it there, look. So I'm just gonna cast these in and just figure out the back very slowly. Just trying to keep them in the higher margins of the water. There's fish rising everywhere, so there's a hatch of some kind on this fishery today. Because it's quite a mild morning. So that may be why. But if I... Yeah, there's something happening. I think buzzers might be a shout today. If it's slow with the apps, I will hook two buzzers on, I think. Right. So we've got rising fish here. I'm going to cast towards the island and fish through them. Like so. Right, fly. But there's literally fish rising everywhere here, guys. So if I just very gently figure out this back. Hopefully something will grab it. And each time I'll pick up the pace of the retrieve. Fish jumping over there. God, they are active this morning in here. So I'll pick up the pace and cruise those apps to an even higher layer of water there. Okay, nothing on the first cast. That's fine. What I'll do is I'll, I'll just try a little bit quicker. Unfortunately guys, uh, there was nothing to this method. Um, the fish obviously honed in on whatever they were taking off the top. Um, it was a hatch most of the day to be fair. And obviously the fish have um, realized this and really concentrated their efforts on picking these off the water 
So uh, the first method I tried, although I was fishing in the, obviously the upper layers, they weren't interested at all in the apps. Um, so after a few, uh, about 10 minutes of that, I had to put the dry on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, on the top. Come on, the CDC, yeah? Yeah. I knew they'd... Uh, I, they're obviously feeding on the top. Little black one. Yeah, basically. Hmm? Have you got any of those clink hammers? Remember those black clink hammer? Yeah. They'll work as well. Maybe come over to this next bench and fish in that water there. It seems like they're all in that open water just feeding. So after that first fish, um, unfortunately the um, hatch really slowed down um, and I had no turns on a dry after that so I went down to the um, die 3 on the olive fritz because this pattern's doing, doing well for me lately and on my last session, if you watched my last video, I had a few fish on it. Also I'd like to make a shout out to Sean Fishes, uh, he's a YouTuber that's done loads of good videos, I think he's from the South Wales area and uh, he was actually fishing on the fishery today uh, as I was walking on the lake I spotted him and introduced myself and uh, yeah we had a good chat for a good 10 minutes or so um, really nice man uh, this is his page so go over there and have a look uh, really informative videos, um, really easy watches so it was cool to uh, meet someone that I've watched for a while on this uh, yeah so again, um, if you're watching my videos in the past, I always implement variation retrieves when fishing lures. And if you listen to this video, you can hear I'm figure of eight in most of this cast. And then when I change to the strip, that's when this fish took. Yeah. There we are. Uh, not really. It came off, but uh, no worries. I knew that um, what I was using would work on the depth. So yeah, I just carried on with this method for a while. Again, demonstrating the importance of the change in retrieve. Missed the fish again, uh, 
soon as I switched the retrieve to the strip, fish took. Oh, damn. Missed the one again. After a short while I decided to make a move to the bench, you can see at the back of my screen now behind the island, uh, right in front of me, just to um, attack the lake from a different angle. It's always worth just having a little check of your fly um, if you keep missing fish or losing them. Just make sure that um, hook point isn't curved or uh, your tail isn't wrapped around it or something just hindering a hook up. Two I've lost now. That's two I've lost. <sighs> Olive on sinking line. Straight after Dave. Straight after. Yeah. He came for it and then uh, I missed it, he came back. I dropped it again. Oh, that's three I've lost now. Yeah, 
intermediate line might be perfect. Yeah. You missed one. And to finish off, when the fish went completely off the boil in the last half an hour, I just went to the bone, put a sweet corn blob on about six foot under, and I had a few bites and then uh, managed to uh, hook into one. So, yeah, ending a decent day here in East Stedford. Um, fish I really enjoy coming to. Add some variation into um, my venues. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little video, guys. Um, like the page, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Um, yeah, and I'll keep making these videos. Um, it's all about pleasure for me. I'm a really passionate fisherman. I'm no professional. Never represented Wales or anything. Um, it's just my complete hobby. And yeah, I was fishing man since I was a kid. So this is the reason I do it. Um, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.